Hello, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be showing you the 2020 Harry Potter Lego Advent Calendar. So here I'm just opening it up. It was a little bit tricky. They really have put a lot of sticky tape around it to protect it. So I was definitely struggling a lot here, um, but I finally got it open. As you can see, there's a little flap at the front that you have to um, unattach with the scissors. And then it comes down to reveal a little bit of the scenery. So it folds out and as you can see there's snow on the bottom and it reveals the Great Hall Yule Ball scene from the fourth movie. So here I'm just opening up day number one. So day number one was cool because it was Harry and it's a great way to start the advent calendar because you've got Harry to go through the adventure of everything else you open for the next few days. Day two of the advent calendar is being opened now and inside was a little mini model of the Hogwarts castle which is super super cute and a great idea to keep it really on brand and on the theme of the Harry Potter Lego. So here I'm opening day three and inside is a little mini model of the Drumstrang school ship. So keeping with the day before, it's on brand with the Triwizard Tournament theme. Day four was the Bobaton's carriage, but I stood in front of the camera by accident, so you didn't actually get to see me building it, but here is the completed product. Day five is the Cho Chang minifigure, which is super, super cute. Day six is actually the Goblet of Fire itself. Now I stood in front of the camera again for the opening of the box, but now I am about to put it together. Day seven is the Gamophone, so it's a tiny little record player with a speaker attached to it, which is super cute and it's seen in the movie, so I think it's cute that they added it to the actual advent calendar.
Day 8 is a sofa that's taken from the Gryffindor common room and it's also got a tiny model of the golden egg from the second task that you sit upon it which is cool because again it's like in the movie when they have that scene in the common room. So day nine is actually a tiny little table that's brown and on top it's got a glass bottle with like an orangey lid on it which is super cute as well. Now day 10 is another minifigure and this time it's Ron in his little Yule Ball attire. Day 11 was a little bit more complex and a bit of a harder build but it turned out that it was a little fireplace and it had a Christmas stocking hanging on it. Day 12 was the first window pane that you make that attaches to the fireplace to create a little bit of a scene. It actually took me a while to figure this one out. Day 13 was another quite difficult and more complex build and it turned out that this one was a Christmas tree and it was a snow themed one so it had a little bit of the white snow. Day 14 was the other side of the windowsill. This one had a little chocolate frog detail on it and when you clip both sides of the window pane together onto the fireplace it creates a little scene. Day 15 was another minifigure which I'm quite impressed that there was so many in this kit 
And this one was one of the Patil twins that Ron and Harry took to the Yule Ball. Day 16 was two little Christmas trees that you can put near the bigger one and they're also snow covered and they were a bit tricky to build as well because they were so little. Day 17 was a grand piano. Now this is one that I didn't expect but was so cool and helped to set up the Yule Ball scene and it reminded me of when they had the Weird Sisters playing that night in the movie. Day 18 was the first half of a big table that was in the Yule Ball, so it was a snow covered table and now this half clicked in with another half that you get further along in the advent calendar. Day 19 was another minifigure and this time it was the second Patil twin that Ron and Harry takes to the Yule Ball with them. Now I forgot to show me building the last one but now this is day 20 and inside was the second half of the snow covered table for the Yule Ball. So this half of the table clicks in with the one that we built a couple of days ago to make a complete full size table. Day 21 was a mini microphone and a music stand and when I displayed this I put it next to the grand piano. Day 22 was Hermione and she looked so beautiful dressed in her pink and purplish Yule Ball outfit. Day 23 was some wrapped presents and the wrapped uh, fire bolt to put under the Christmas tree. And finally, 
day 24 was the Tri-Wizard Cup to finish it all off. 